to answer your guys' questions. Do you have the body to be a stripper? Shawty just be dancing cause she love me. She don't put nothing about me. She just only worry about the money, yeah. She don't want to need nobody for nothing, yeah. She don't really need a nigga walk home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be answering a question that you guys love to ask me and that I feel like girls just ask in general, like, do I have the body to be a stripper? And you want to know what the answer is? Yes, yes, you do. You know why? It's because every guy out here has a certain type and it's not all going to be the same. Some guys don't like that, you know, stick, skinny, boyish looking figure. They want a girl with some more meat. And some girls feel like they're too skinny to be strippers. And you know what? Some guys do like that boyish athletic figure or that model-esque, tall, skinny figure or short. Shit, it don't matter. My point is here, for everybody out there, there is a type of guy who wants it and is willing to pay to see it, period. And that's what we're going to be talking about here today because I feel like you guys are always inboxing me and asking me like you know <clears throat> how do you do it i'm just i really want to dance but i am just really really nervous or i don't feel like i'd make any money or i'm too insecure with my body right now maybe after i lose some weight or maybe after i get some surgery or blah 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 blah, blah. oh my nails match my jacket i just peeked that um but and you know what? That's fine. Like, I know everybody wants to just be the best version of themselves. But I'm going to be honest here. When I started dancing, I just had a baby. And I was fat. I've never been fat in my life until I had a baby. Like, I'm not going to say I was always hella skinny. But I always had, like, a nice body. I didn't have, like, any rolls on my stomach or, you know, stuff like that. So, when I had a baby and I was fat because I was stress eating. A girl was stress eating. But, yeah, when I got fat and I decided to dance, I was like... I don't know about this but I was like you know what I'm bomb period even if my body's not the nicest right now I think I just had a baby like six months before that or something like that I have a nice face not just my face but I could talk a good game I could talk a nigga out the shirt off his back if I need to period like you're just being real like I'm gonna tell you guys this some of the girls that make the most money be the average looking girls, but they just have so much game and they just know how to talk or they're, it sometimes don't even be game. Like they're just genuinely pre pleasant to be around. Like I feel like a lot of the times for certain customers, I really have to be really fake because I'm not a friendly outgoing person. So to be at work is extremely draining for me because I have to be, you know, I have to go to people and I have to just be so friendly and outgoing and just start conversations and lead conversations and that's not me that's really not me so for people who are naturally like that i feel like it's would be super easy for them even if you know even if you're average looking or even if you were ugly honestly like i feel like a lot of the girls that i work with or have worked with they're really pretty but they don't make as much money as the average looking girls because Either they're depending on them being pretty to make money or they just don't have as much game or they're just not that pleasant to be around. So your looks really aren't everything when it comes to dancing. Like I keep trying to tell girls this and it's real. Like looks might be the initial attraction, but sometimes, and it really depends on the guy. There's different types of guys in the club. Some guys really do want, like, to lead with conversation and see if you if you talk to a guy for long enough and you guys have a good conversation or you're making him, like, intrigued and want to talk to you, sometimes they'll just offer, can we get a dance? Like, you know, they're interested in the conversation. But some guys don't want to talk. Like, some guys, as soon as you go up to them, they're checking you out, they're looking at you, and you just know, like, they're specifically there for the looks. But every guy that comes in a strip club is there for a different reason. Maybe it's a sexual thing. Maybe... Maybe they're just lonely. Like, a lot of guys that come in there are just really lonely. So, them coming in there and just seeing pretty girls is nice. Yeah, but maybe they don't have any family or anything, you know? So, they want a real conversation. So, to the girls that go up to them and just think that their looks are just going to get them back there, 
maybe initially maybe even could but maybe that's not going to keep the dances going like you know if you go back there and you're having a nice conversation with them that's what's going to keep them $50 dances going and it's going to rack up pretty fucking fast but if you're back there and you're just looking cute and they you can tell that they want to have a conversation and you're kind of not feeding into it they're going to stop the dance eventually like you know that's not going to work for everybody and sometimes being pretty and you're like, I'm really not a social person. Sometimes being pretty is enough. You just have to know your customers. Like, if they're there just because they want to look at a pretty girl, they want to dance with a pretty girl, they don't care about the conversation because some guys don't, then yeah, those are the type of guys that will work for you. But I'm just saying, like, everybody has an equal shot at the strip club, period. It doesn't matter. And really, I would say the pretty girls, the overly pretty girls with game are the ones who really do make the most. But still, you're going to make your money regardless. Like, doesn't matter what you look like. There's plus size girls in the club. There's size double zero, triple zero in the club. There's tall girls. There's short girls. There's average looking girls. There's not so pretty looking girls. There's model looking girls. There's bitches who've had plastic surgery. There's girls who are all natural. There's all types of girls. And guess what? They all get a bag. Say it with me. They all get a bag. So, therefore, to answer your guys' questions, do you have the body to be a stripper? Yes, yes, you do. And I don't know about every state, but every state that I've been to, there's all different types of body types stripping. So, yeah, I would say it doesn't matter where you really are. Maybe, like, okay, there's a couple places I wouldn't just dance being hella regular. Because me, myself, I'm not going to, like, Miami or... <sighs> Yeah, I'm not going to, like, Miami or nothing looking regular because all them girls got nice bodies done and all types of stuff. I mean, I could go because I'd still make money, but I don't want to spend money to go make average money. I'm trying to go make big money. You feel me? But still, like, again, I would make money there. So it really doesn't matter what kind of body you have. You got to have the confidence, a nice personality, or be able to talk to people or be able to fake it. If you don't have a nice personality, you know that you're just trash and you're a bitch or you just suck at talking, you better fake it to make it, because that's what I do every day, and here I am, still making money, so clearly, it works, you feel me, but yes, this, this was my little answer to you guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while, so thank you guys for watching, and let me know if you guys have more questions, I have a couple more videos lined up that I'm going to do for you guys of questions that I keep getting asked, and I just want to see this one out the way, because I don't like feeling like you guys feel like you're not good enough for these average ass men that are coming into the strip club like who are they who the fuck are they they're paying to see you guys like you're good enough come on now anyways thanks for watching this video please like comment subscribe share my stuff we're getting up there guys just got monetized i'm so excited Thank you guys for your help. And yeah, let's just grow this channel. I'm just trying to think of a name for you guys. Like, I know when I get to like 20 subs, 20,000 subs, sorry. When it's like 20,000 subs, 50,000 subs, I'm going to need a little name for you guys. So if you guys got ideas, like, let me know. Comment down below. What should I call you guys? I feel like something... Now I'm not going to tell you what you guys I think because I feel like it's corny. But yeah, if you guys don't think of something, I'll just say what I think. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I made you guys all feel more confident and more empowered to come out here and get this bag because there's a bag for everybody. Yeah, love you guys. Thank you.